The life of a displaced person is filled with lack, and so the wind of any humanitarian intervention is sure to attract many of them. These internally displaced persons in Borno State are eagerly waiting for the distribution of relief materials from state government officials at a school in Kondugal. Many of them were displaced from Konduga, Kawuri and Mandarari villages and have been living in makeshift shelters and host communities. As expected, state officials arrive with food and clothing targeting hundreds of households. We are able to reach 13,300 beneficiaries, out of which 8,300 are women, then 5,000 are men. For the women, each is going home with 2,000 and a rafa, while for the men, uh, each will have a package of like food items for complete one month. Beneficiaries are thankful for the items given, but plead for improved security in their communities so they can return to their various sources of livelihood. Boko Haram are always coming out to attack. We need the government to help us with more security to help us disperse them. For the Borno State government, providing adequate shelter among other basic needs for the IDPs is a more immediate problem that needs to be addressed. We have agreed to now return the people of Kauri in pieces. I have told them to identify 750 head of households, households. That entails nothing fewer than about 3,000 uh, uh, 3, people. So I think we will, shall do everything possible to rehabilitate the homes of the remaining 500 people, uh, ensure renovation of the, school, of the school, of the clinic, so that at worst in March, people of Kauri will be resettled back to their communities. Some displaced people have returned to their rebuilt communities such as Bama, Mafa and parts of Konduga local government areas but have been unable to go back to their jobs because of security threats. For these ones, their concern is more becoming self-reliant when they return home.